Okay. Take three. If the camera falls again, I am going to swear violently. All right, people. How's it going? <laughs> so I've been... Oh my god, it almost fell again. I'm trying to repot this. To take three here. Camera fell a few times. You squeeze the pot. Plant comes out. Basically, you want to wrap the plant on the little bulb where the leaves meet in the center. Then, you want to put the plant... There's not enough moss in there. Fill up your pot with moss. Hope this camera doesn't fall. You can also use peat and perlite or thoroughly washed coconut coir with perlite to do this job. However, I prefer sphagnum moss because it grows eventually and it stays the wettest so I don't have to water so often. I mean, fly traps like to be relatively wet all the time, not heavily waterlogged. So. Push the plant down, slowly, gently, pushing it down, covering the sides here with moss. And gently shove it in there, lift up the leaves if you have to. The plant doesn't have very big roots, so it's kind of moving. kind of flying out of here. Hmm. Well, when you're repotting plants, you want to do this, this technique called the shake test. Move the plant side to side. If the plant's not shaking itself, it has passed the shake test. So, make sure this is all covered. Green is fly traps, you want to make sure they're covered. And Basically, you want to have this maybe set in a humidity chamber for a day or two. Help it acclimatize. Keep it under a light if you got it. Full sun if you got it. And these plants like to be constantly moist. Not sitting in too much water, more than an inch or about three centimeters. And um, they really, really enjoy full sun all summer long. And a cold winter down to about zero Celsius. Or 30 Fahrenheit. Or 32 Fahrenheit. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. That's how you repot a Venus flytrap. Venus fliegefallen.